Hi, dear children. I am teacher Geeta. This is grade 9 physics, uh, thermal physics, the revision video. Already we finished this unit by topic wise. Now together I have to give a revision video. The first we have to discuss about uh, properties of solid, liquid and gas. The first uh, in the class before uh, closing the school we discussed in the class and I think you all of you wrote uh, this notes in your notebook. So here it is the properties of solid, liquid and gases. You know that how particles are arranged in solid liquid uh, gases. In solid particles in a regular fixed arrangement, particles close together and vibrate around a fixed position. And strong attractive forces between particles. Solid keep their shape and had uh, hard to break. When particles are packed tightly close together, they cannot be forced closer so are incompressible. That is the properties of solid. And now liquids particles are arranged randomly, particles close together and vibrating, particles are able to move past one another. And weak attractive uh, bond between the particles, the particle glands, uh, particles can slide past one another, so liquid can flow. Then particles are quite close together, but they cannot be forced much closer together, so liquids are incompressible. And uh, gases particles are arranged randomly particles are very far apart and move randomly in all directions a negligible attractive force between the particles and this particle fill up container and can flow particles are very far apart and can easily be forced together so gases are compressible the substances that can flow are called fluids liquids and gases they can flow they are called fluid but this uh, table show the properties of solid liquid and gas mass shape volume compressibility okay next one is brownian motion you know that what is the def uh, definition of brownian motion the random motion of particle is called the brownian motion when a suspension particle appears to be in a random motion the explanation of this is very uh, they are very constantly being hit by numerous fast moving invisible particles. Here it is particles, it is invisible, it is fast moving and colliding each other. Because of the kind, uh, the, according to the kinetic theory, we know that and the random motion shown by the particle is called Brownian motion. A random molecular bombardment by other particles, the picture is showing like that. This is called uh, Brownian motion. Next one is we studied about evaporation. You know that what is evaporation? Evaporation is the process by which liquid turn to gas below the boiling point of the liquid. And this uh, particles near the surface with the highest kinetic energy. You know that if uh, in the book you wrote the pictures also in the class I explained that one. And uh, the particle near the surface of at highest kinetic energy can move enough energy to escape from the liquid. Then after they escape, the average kinetic energy of the remaining particle decreases. Then therefore temperature has decreased. That is the uh, process of evaporation. When well, here it is, what are the factors affecting evaporation? The main factors are temperature, surface area, wind speed, humidity and the atmospheric pressure. Temperature increases, the rate of evaporation increases. And surface area increases, the rate of evaporation increases. And wind speed increases, the rate of evaporation increases. And humidity increases, the rate of evaporation decreases. If atmospheric pressure increases, the rate of evaporation decreases. But that is the factors uh, affecting evaporation. Now we studied about the pressure loss. So here it is the effect of temperature on pressure law. So here in the first uh, uh, graph it is showing that absolute zero. This is absolute zero is it is zero degree kelvin or minus 273 degree celsius the particles are not moving in that absolute zero they have no kinetic energy no pressure exerted but for a fixed mass of gas at constant volume pressure is directly proportional to temperature the pressure is directly proportional to pressure increases temperature also according to the temperature the pressure also increases so we have to say the pressure law at fixed mass of a gas at constant volume, pressure is directly proportional to temperature. This one is showing that. Next one is Boyle's law. 
what is boyle's law for a fixed mass at a constant temperature pressure is inversely proportional to volume this equation show that p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 this is about boyle's law using this uh, equation we have to do some uh, problems also next one is thermal expansion thermal expansion means when object is heated they expand heat applied the temperature increases when temperature increases what happened the kinetic energy or average kinetic energy of the molecule increases uh, when kinetic energy increases the particle start to vibrate and the rate of expansion is determined by the type of atom solid liquid and gases thermal expansion in solid solid expand at least we can't see through our naked eye how much it is expanding and the solid liquid expand more than solid but gases expands the most there is uh, for thermal expansion of solid there is some consequences also railway tracks have to have a gap allowed to expansion it can cause wire to snap the long structures like bridges need rollers okay these are the consequences of expansion of uh, solid and then next one is temperature we know that what is temperature the average kinetic energy of the particle is called temperature here it is measuring temperature you know that the instrument used to measure temperature is uh, thermometer and uh, in one video i explained about that one the three characteristics of a thermometer sensitivity range and linearity how the thermometer is sensitive for a sensitive thermometer you have to use narrow tube more distance from the expansion and if uh, use the material that expand more when heated the small change in temperature also visible in the thread and range is the maximum and minimum temperature on the temperature sorry the thermometer the maximum and minimum temperature on a thermometer low melting point and high boiling point that's about range the linearity means whether or not expansion is directly proportional to the temperature the water cannot be used uh, because its expansion is irregular so the characteristics of uh, the three uh, are thermometer are uh, sensitivity range and linearity and uh, now uh, thermocouples so what is thermocouples the thermocouple is commonly used in electric thermometer a thermocouple consists of two dissimilar wires joined together and uh, one junction is higher temperature at higher temperature then an em of e is generated and read by the voltmeter this way we have to uh, this electric thermometer thermocouple next one the important definitions you should by heart this one first one is specific heat capacity what is specific heat capacity is the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of 1 kg of a substance by 1 degree celsius the equation q e is equal to m c delta t mass into specific heat capacity into change in temperature here this uh, changing delta this is called a great letter delta that delta t means change in temperature and specific latent heat of what is specific latent heat this is the energy required to change the state of 1 kg of a substance at constant temperature it is the changing the state uh, that next to is related to that one latent heat of fusion and latent heat of vaporization latent heat of fusion is the quantity of heat energy required to change 1 kg of a solid into liquid at constant temperature then vaporization is the quantity of heat energy required to change 1 kg of liquid into vapor at constant temperature but these are some important definitions study well this one next one is the thermal process the last unit we study about thermal process that is conduction convection and radiation conduction is the heat transfer through direct contact by collision by between warmer and cold point this happening in the solid things and convection is the transfer of heat by actual movement of uh, particles in fluids the radiation is the transfer of heat energy by electromagnetic waves and it does not involve the movement of matter but these are the three a uh, process of heat transfer that is the thermal processes and uh, for each video i explained everything this is only a revision for all together uh, watch all the videos carefully and uh, revise everything properly